hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have 8 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equals to 130 and we solve this problem for the values of x and here you see that our x uh, should must be a real number okay it means that we solve this problem for the real values of x now here uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first we rewrite this equation as this is a to the power of x and we write 8 as into the prime factors form and the prime factors of 8 are 2 cubed and its whole power x plus this is 2 to the power of x is equals to 130. And now here in the next step uh, here we use the exponent law you know about this law if we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of n to the power of m it means that if you have exponent to the exponents then now we interchange these two exponents and we always get here the same answer so here in this case we can just interchange these two exponents and after interchanging these two exponents it will be written as 2 to the power of x and its whole cubed plus here we have 2 to the power of x is equals to 130 and now in the next step we we convert this uh, exponential equation into the uh, simple cubic form uh, for this uh, we will take here uh, y is equals to 2 to the power of x so when we put y equals 2 to the power of x over above equation is written as uh, so this will becomes here y cubed plus this is y is equals to 130 and now in the next step you see here this we, this equation will becomes cubic in y variable so that here we easily find the factors of this equation uh, and now here first we move this uh, 130 in the left hand side so it will be written as y cubed plus y and this is positive and when we move in the left hand side it will becomes negative and this whole equation equals to zero so uh, this equation will becomes cubic and now here uh, we just middle uh, we just break its middle term and we easily make the factors of this equation now here first we find uh, any uh, two numbers whose product is equals to 130 and after that uh, we find uh, any two numbers whose sum is equals to plus 1 okay so you see here uh, 26 times of 5 is equals to 130 and if you can find 1 uh, so we write it as 26 minus 25 is equals to 1 so here we have these are the uh, numbers uh, these are the two numbers in which uh, we can just break its middle term so here uh, according to these numbers we can break our plus y as in this form so we write it as 26 times of y minus 25y minus we write this 130 as 26 times of 5 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step uh, we uh, make the factors of this equation and now here first we uh, need to take common uh, y from the uh, first two terms so in order to take common y first we need to rearrange the terms because here we cannot take common from these two terms so we write it as y cubed minus here we write 25y and this is our plus 26y and minus this will be written as 26 multiplied by 5 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now uh, here we have time to take common uh, y from the first two terms so when we take common y we get here this is y square minus 25 and from here we take common 26 and we get here y minus 5 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here in the next step uh, you uh, we need to uh, simplify this term so here we again make the factors of this term so we write it as this is y square minus this is 25 we write it as 5 squared and plus this is 26 into here we have this is y minus 5 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here further in the next step 
uh, here we need more simplifications and here we can apply the algebraic formula so according to this we write these terms as y minus 5 times of y plus 5 and here we have 26 times of y minus 5 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here we need to take common uh, y minus 5 from these two terms so when you take common this value so we get here y times of y plus 5 and here when you take common y minus 5 uh, we will get here only 26 and this whole equation equals to 0. So now in the next step uh, here we need more simplifications and it will be written as y minus 5 times here we multiply y on both of these values and it will become y square plus 5y plus 26 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now here in the next step uh, we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write y minus 5 equals to 0 and the second case is we write y square plus 5y plus 26 equals to 0. So in the start of the problem we will say that we can just solve this problem for only uh, real uh, values of x uh, so that uh, in order to find the real values of x we uh, need uh, to check that is this uh, quadratic equation has real roots or not okay uh, so here uh, first we can uh, focus in the second case and in this case we check that is this uh, quadratic equation has uh, real root or not so that we can apply the discriminant formula here so that uh, we first need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 5 and c equals to 26 and we know about the uh, discriminant formula it is denoted by delta equals to b square minus 4 times of a c and here we put these values of a b and c so it will be written as 5 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 26 so you see here this will becomes here uh, 25 minus this will be written as 4 times of 6 becomes 24 we write 4 and carry 2 4 to the 8 8 plus 2 becomes here 10 so you see here uh, 25 minus 104 is less than uh, 0 so it means that uh, the given expression gives us that our delta is less than 0 so if this data is less than 0 it means that this quadratic equation has no real root. So if this equation has no real roots then uh, we rejected this case because of uh, we just solve <coughs> this uh, question for only real roots of the given problem okay. Now here we need to uh, focus in the first case and in first case we have this is y minus 5 equals to 0. Uh, so we can just copy down this equation here this is y minus 5 equals to 0 and here we back substitute the value of y and in the start of the problem you see here we take our y is equals to 2 to the power of x uh, so we back substitute it here and first we have y equals 5 and uh, y equals 2 to the power of x equals to 5 so because we solve this problem for the values of x so for this we need to take the log on both of the sides so we apply a log on both of the sides uh, in this form and now you see here uh, we apply the properties of log and we move this exponent x in the front of this log and it will be written as x times of log 2 is equals to log of 5. So from here we have x is equals to uh, log of 5 divided by log of 2 and we can combine these two logs and we write it as x is equals to log of 5 with base 2. So this is the our final value of x in this problem uh, and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.